All right, today is going to be an exciting, it's not gonna be that exciting, it's sort of exciting. Well, a lot of you have been asking for it, so let's go. All right, thanks for stopping by. Glad you're part of the journey. A lot of people have been asking me what's in my bag. So I'm gonna go through it today so you can see what's new for this year. Let's dive in. And don't forget to hit that uh, like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, hit the bell so you don't miss anything. All the links to everything you see will be down in the description below. So if you see some and you don't see all of them, uh, depending on the device you're watching this on, uh, you either gotta scroll down, show more, hit a little triangle, something, I know, it's the internet. Everybody's got a different device, different way they're watching. So, uh, fish around. This there, don't worry. Bet you're curious what's in there. Okay, uh, let's start with the obvious. This is a Volvic staff bag. Am I on staff at Volvic? No. Do they pay me? No. Uh, they just sent me a cool bag. And since it's the coolest bag I have, I use it all the time. So that's what's housing all my stuff. Plus I carry a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, I like to have all the pockets everything that it offers. That's what I like. Okay, I got training aids, I got balls, I got uh, launch monitor, I got all kinds of stuff I'm lugging around with me. So, I like a giant bag. But if I'm walking, playing golf, I do not use this bag. So, there you go. All right, let's jump on in. All right, the flat stick. You, you know, obviously, you've seen it a lot. Um, this is the uh, Odyssey XO7 putter. And I cut it down uh, about an inch and a half, put my Lampkin grip on there, which I love. And uh, yeah, to be honest with you, I've tried to not use this putter numerous times because um, honestly, I don't like the shape of it. It's not, I, I prefer the kind of, uh, more Scotty Cameron, you know, that Newport 2 look. But I just putt so much better with this thing, so I've gotta use it. And uh, I'm not a fan of the shape, but I am a fan of the roll. So, love the face, love the deal. It's gonna stay until something else performs better. But it's in the bag. And I don't like, cause I don't like the big head. It, other clubs bang on it when I get them in and out, and it's just, that's just me. I got, I got issues, I know, okay? But that's that. All right, oh, I'm carrying three bulky SM7 wedges. All right, and they all are supporting the Dynamic Gold uh, S200 shaft, and I did regrip them with a Lampkin grip, which I love. I have a 60 degree with 12 degrees of bounce D grind. It's got my daughter's name on it right there. My next one is my 54 degree with 10 degrees of bounce S as in Sam Grind, it has my son's name on it there, boom. Then I have a 50 degree wedge, SM7 with eight degrees of bounce, F as in Frank Grind, has my other son's name on it right there, all right? Boom, those are all the same. I do have one of those in a pitching wedge that has my wife's name on it, but it's not in the bag, I know, I know. It should be, but it's not, here's why. Because um, of the fact of it's just a gapping problem, not a wife problem, okay? It's gapping, that's it. There's a better gap relationship between my uh, Ben Hogan PTX Pro irons that I have in the bag. There's a better gap dispersion with this pitching wedge moving into that gap wedge. Therefore, that's why that's in the bag because I'm using these irons, which are, all my irons, pitching wedge through four iron, Ben Hogan, PTX Pro irons. Uh, I just recently did a review on that, so be sure to check that out as well. I'll link it up here for you as well. These are my favorite irons. I've used three different sets of irons this year, a Mizuno, a Titleist, and now these are in the bag, and 
they are going to stay in the bag for the foreseeable future. I love them. I have the KBS Tour V110 stiff shaft on these. And they do have the Ben Hogan. Uh, it's a lambkin grip. have all lambkin grips on my irons and wedges and my putter. So I like that. All right, hybrid. Here we go. It is the TS2. I love this hybrid. Once I hit it, oh, I knew it was the club for me. It's got the hazardous smoke shaft on it. It is a 80 grams stiff flex. And I have this in the A1 position. If that means something to you, pretty standard. I, I don't like anything uh, sh shut. I don't want anything shut. So if anything, it's open. But uh, A1 is a position. I forgot exactly what that means. But for me, that's good. Absolutely love this guy right here favorite hybrid i've ever had and i played a ping prior to this for like seven years so it just got replaced with this guy the three metal very important club for me and uh i got the ts3 titleist three metal huge fan of the titleist metal clubs this has a even flow project x 6.5 x stiff shaft 75 grams so it's a little heavier uh gets my swing just everything's working really well with this 15 degrees of loft again a1 position for the uh, hosel adjustment and we got golf pride grip on here i do like the golf pride grips as well as the lampkin but these have golf pride on them love this thing that this is the best sounding three wood i've ever hit in my life and uh i mean it it's a game changer for me. So check out the TS3 from Titleist. Love it. The big dog. Yeah, Titleist TS3. Again, we're in the A1 position on the hosel. Pretty standard for me. This has a standard length. It has the even flow 6.5 X flex 75 grams. So, uh, a lot of people give me a hard time because they saw me, my swing speed on a previous video. I'm like, why are you swinging at X? Ah, your swing speed. Anyways, look, X flex doesn't always equal because of swing speed. Although um, I was suffering a back injury and I wasn't having been swinging as fast as I was when I got fit and getting my swing speed back because my back gets in shape. So leave me alone, okay? It'll get back there. Don't worry about it. But the weight, the flex, and the launch angle, it all comes together to determine your uh, flex, okay? If you have a high launch angle and a lot of spin, you want stiffer shape. Anyways, it's complicated. This is what's in my bag. I hit it really well. It's a 9.5 degree loft, by the way. And uh, this adjustment here is just uh, neutral. I don't have the weight on either end. It's pretty standard. So there you go on my big dog. I carry three alignment sticks covered by the Mr. Short Game alignment stick cover. I think we're sold out of these or there might be one or two left. Link in the description below. Let me know if you want me to get more of these and uh, put them out there for you, okay? Maybe we'll go white with green next time. You let me know what you want, okay? Let me know, comment below. My current rangefinder is from Voice Caddy, the SL1 rangefinder. It has a nice uh, stabilized image inside. It is also a uh, GPS and you could turn this on. It'll locate the course. It'll give you your green here and give you some um, slope uh, like uh, indicators at, on the display as to the, uh, the break of the green, the high end. Anyways, uh, you gotta turn it on. It does a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, check it out. Uh, link below for this as well, but it is my current launch monitor. I'm not launch monitor, it's my current range finder. This guy, plus it looks cool and it's a cool case. In my bag, I keep the Swing Caddy SC300 portable launch monitor. Absolutely love this thing. So if you're looking for a launch monitor you can take with you, this is in my bag all the time. Put it down the range, I put it on the course, put it all over the place, figure out what's going on. Launch, carry, distance, swing speed, smash factor, syncs up with your phone, does a whole bunch of stuff. Discounted link down below. So be sure to check that out right there. Boom. And it's, what I love, you can see it right in the bright sunlight, can be shining right on it. You can be, you can almost be on the sun and still see the display. 
He might be dead though. But the sun shines, he's got great display. My glove. Okay, I'm either using the, uh, the Titleist glove, you know, high-end leather, or Volvic makes a solid equivalent glove as well. I use that, so either one I actually like. The Volvic one is solid. I like, I like that kind of orange little um, coloring through there. So, love it. And Titleist, love, they're both the same, just different names. Okay, uh, the ball, what ball do I play? Uh, I either play the Titleist Pro V1, or the Pro V1X. I'll go back and forth, but I usually would play just the Pro V1. I also play the Volvic um, S3 and S4. So those are the equivalent Pro V1, Pro V1X. The S3 would be the Pro V1, S4 would be the Pro V1X, and I like them both the same. I typically play the S3 more often, but uh, I don't know. I'm really liking the Volvic balls. And I like them as much as the Tyler. So, honestly, they're nearly the same ball, but uh, I've been playing a lot of Volvic. Anyway, except uh, for some reason, uh, whenever I want to hit it far, I pull out the S3 orange ball because I hit it farther than on average than anything else. Uh, there's some science behind it. It has to do with the color, not the color of orange, but the color that I perceive so anyways, it's like everybody perceives color a little bit differently. So sometimes you see one color better than others. Therefore, uh, you would pick it up. So it's not necessarily the orange. It's me and the orange combination. So there might be a color, believe it or not, that you hit farther than other balls and it's the identical ball. Anyway, so whenever I want to hit it far, I just pull out the orange one. I do keep... The uh, Tour Striker uh, Plane Mate in my bag. Hook this on. You know, it's a little swing training aid. That's the training aid I keep in here um, in case I need it. So I did a video review on this too. I'll link that up here as well so you can check that out. It's a pretty awesome training aid. All right, so there you go. That's what's in my bag. Uh, what's in your bag? Comment uh, below. What kind of irons are you using? What's your driver? What's your, uh, what's your ball preference? Just leave a comment down below. What do you like? Maybe you're using some of the same stuff? Maybe not, but either way. Uh, thought you might like to know what I'm hitting, what I'm playing with, my everyday, my everyday carry, EDC, as Peter McKinnon would say. Uh, so, hope you liked the video. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Don't forget this. I left one of these on the range once. Expensive mistake. <laughs>